Hola amigos y amigas, you are listening to the English Made Simple Show. This is episode number 283, number 283, número 283. Welcome back everybody, welcome back. This is your host Milena speaking. You're tuning in to the English Made Simple show. You can learn more about the EMS show and what it is all about when you visit EnglishMadeSimple.net. If you want to listen to the podcast straight from the website, simply type in EnglishMadeSimple.net slash podcast and you'll go straight to the podcast page. And while you're there, you can also find a huge repertoire of the EMS episodes as well as useful resources to help you improve your English. Now... Today, amigos, we are going to learn the following phrase, to make plans. It's not to do plans, it's to make plans. We are using the verb make. Have you used this phrase before? Maybe you have. Maybe you've used the phrase like, hmm, I have plans. Today, we'll learn to use the phrase make plans. This is a commonly used phrase. I don't know why the word plans is plural here, but to me it implies that it is a generic phrase. It could involve an unknown number of plans. Okay, so make plans, that's plural. We use this phrase when we want to make a generic statement. We don't know how many plans we're going to make. And just remember that These two words go well together, the word make and plans, okay? So, towards the end of today's episode, you'll have a chance to practice this phrase. Um, I'll have a repeat after me section towards the end where you can practice saying this phrase out loud. So, stay on till the end of today's episode so you get a chance to practice this phrase. So, how do you use this phrase then? Let me give you some examples. In fact, two examples. I'll give you two examples. Number one, example number one. Have you made plans for the new year? That's something that people will tend to ask you around this time of the year. If you're listening to today's episode in December of 2021, okay, people are probably going to ask you this. Have you made plans for the new year? So have you? Have you made any plans for this new year? Whatever the plans are, amigos y amigas, as long as you're staying safe, that's good. Just stay safe, whatever you're doing. Uh, the example number two, let me give you another example of how we can use this uh, phrase. Did you make plans for next weekend? Did you make plans for next weekend? By the way, you can also ask um, in this way. Do you have any plans next weekend? So instead of asking, did you make plans for next weekend? You can also ask, do you have any plans next weekend? In both instances, you can reply with either, yes, I have plans next weekend or no, I don't have plans next weekend. Easy peasy Japanesey. To make plans means to plan what you're going to do on a certain day and time that particular day. You could have plans with a particular person or maybe you have no plans. You just want to be by yourself and that's fine. That could be part of your plans. Uh, it's okay to be a lone wolf sometimes. You can be alone. It's all good. Uh, let me just uh, quickly explain what it means to use the word plan in a singular form. So if we are not using plans, we just want to use one plan. Okay. I just want to quickly explain this so you can see the difference uh, in the meaning. Okay. So the word plan, when used in singular form, you say a plan. Okay. What does it mean to have a plan? A plan means you have planned something carefully. You have one objective, one goal to accomplish. So you need to follow a plan, one plan. Do you have a plan when you finish university? Are you going to look for a job or take a year off? You can see the difference now between make plans and have a plan. 
Let me use another example for plans in the plural. Example number two. Did you make plans to meet with your friends at a restaurant? You can reply, yes, we made plans to meet there. Or no, we don't have any plans. Now, amigos y amigas, does this all make sense to you? I'll just pretend that it does, okay? <laughs> I'll pretend this all makes sense. Awesome. Now it's your turn to practice these two phrases. I'll say the two phrases now and then I want you to repeat after me, okay? The first phrase, phrase number one was, did you make plans for next weekend? Did you make plans for next weekend? Can you repeat that phrase? Phrase number two. Did you make plans to meet with your friends at a restaurant? Did you make plans to meet with your friends at a restaurant? Cool, cool bananas, amigos y amigas. We've reached the end of today's show. Before we finish today's episode, amigos y amigas, may I just say once again a huge thanks to those uh, people who have filled in the survey for me. I've received quite a few responses now and I really enjoy reading them. I would still like to have a couple of more responses till the end of December. So if you have time, please complete a short survey for me over at englishmadesimple.net slash survey. It is a chance for you to tell me more about yourself and your experience with learning English. I'd love to learn more about you because I can't see you. Okay, so it would be really awesome if you could do that for me. You have until the end of December to do this survey. And yes, I will keep reminding you in every episode until the end of December. I do appreciate you taking the time to do it. Uh, it will only take you five minutes, I think, maybe less. But it is a huge deal for me, so it means a lot. So thank you in advance if you can do that for me. And there we go, amigos y amigas. Let's wrap it up. Thanks for joining me in today's episode. It's been a pleasure and I hope you've learned something new today. If something wasn't clear, be sure to send me an email or send me a message on Facebook and Instagram. You've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Mm -hmm.